Boom. What up? So we're back to only here. Back to some more League of Legends action. Ooh, we'll take that trade. We'll take that trade. Big Q, big Q. Playing some Crocodile Man up in the top lane. We're against this guy, Darius. How will we do? Let's find out. Nice Q poke. Loving that. Loving that trade. Don't give him five stack. We got a juicy trade. Sit right here with Q. Loving that. They're never ready for that play. They're never ready for that one. When they take that aggressive play line and you just flash inside the center of the Q, it just kills their whole play. If they don't hit the Q, they're dead. I mean, he could flash, ghost away, and maybe like survive, but at the end of the day, he still has to go back to base. He's still screwed. I'm still pushing the wave in. He's still getting, you know, quite the loss. And it's funny because it doesn't really seem like that aggressive of a thing for him to just press Q there, but it's like, you actually die. I like. Let's leave. All right. What are we doing in this game? What are we building? We're going for a Borg. We're going for a Sunfire. We're getting a Titanic. And we're getting a Sterix. I like it. I like it. I'm going to go here. Pink and a potion, huh? The potion nerf. 120. Back in my day, we used to get 150 health. You know what it was? I had the tweet about how OP mid-game potions are. It's obviously just trolling. But Riot didn't know I was trolling. They believed me. And now they nerfed the potions. Uh, we might be able to do something here. I did blow both summoners, and he has both his summoners. But this wave is slow pushing to us, so... I oh, mean, you have nothing up. I guess you can walk all the way to mid, try and gank that. That's fine. It's not bad, because you gank mid, and then you go into either bot lane, or you go into uh, your bot side crab. Getting everybody gets counter jungle being ganked and killed. Oh no. Oh, yeah, she actually got out. Flash it. Oh. Good auto by him. Instead of wasting Q, I thought he was going to waste Q, so I was going to try and walk inside. Ooh. Love it. Yeah, I chunk him there. Do take a lot of damage to the bleed. Loving that Q. Q plus potions. If he walks up for any of this stuff, I can dash in. By the way, my dash was terrible. I thought I could dash inside of his circle. I failed miserably. Because I took a step forward and then dash instead of taking a step away and then dashing. If I took a step away, then it'd be free. If he walks up to try and Q this, we're going to dash forward into his Q. Auto W. Dead. Cool. Walk away. Let us wave keep shoving to me. Hell yeah. We're just waiting for that Q. Use the Q. Use the Q. Use Q to get farm. Oop, pain. Otherwise, we just let his wave keep chubbing in. He just misses minions over time here. He might feel more confident since he has a lot of red minions here. Since he just leveled up. But we got a ton of fury. So again, just holding this position. I'm getting gold. He's getting nothing. He's getting frisky. Nah, we just take a free trade and leave. We have to wait 14 seconds before we can do anything here, but that's just a free trade and leave. And then we, again, have to wait 14 seconds. But once our dash is back up, then we're good to go. And we just have a huge advantage. Now what people do a lot of times is they get... I mean, it's the same concept as before. Kill the cannon. Yeah. Sweet. Reset. That's how you do it. Control the wave, boys. Control the wave. Manage the wave. Now, what you can also do is use your pink ward and your regular wards. You have vision while you uh, manage the wave instead of just tunneling and hoping you don't get ganked. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, 
Should be a kill. Boop. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, so just had a slow pushing wave to me. You know, we had a trade that went well, and then we just used our health advantage for the rest of it. Then we got one trade in there after we regained some HP, where we couldn't kill, and if I let the trade keep going on, it would have been bad. But we use our Empower Stun to dash away and not get pulled back in. Now again, this is kind of why advantages snowball, or can snowball, because look at what the wave's doing. It's the same situation that we just had. So I can repeat the exact same like play, you know? Let the wave slow push to me. Look for a trade where I get a slight advantage. Use that slight advantage to let the trade push, or let the wave push to me until I get an opportunity to dash in and kill. Oops, didn't want to auto that one. But yeah, same exact situation. So, let the wave push. Ah, goofed it. And that's why you don't like to do that part. I didn't actually have the ult there. I won that trade so hard because I'm so ahead that I could have just let it, let it lie. It's alright though. See, now the wave isn't as good. It's actually going to be a shoving wave. Oh no, mine have a buff. It's going to slow push. Anytime it's even, like, well, not even, but even in terms of like, there's break points. Anytime it's at a break point, sometimes these buffs matter. And this is one of those times. Oh my goodness. The amount of farm I'm missing in this game is atrocious. I shouldn't miss on this champ. I have too much practice. Especially with abilities, brother. Huh. Some good farming here. Farming some plates. Farming some minions. Crying a little bit because we missed one. Shove this in and then we're good to go. Oh, oh. Do it, buddy. Pull me. It's actually really lame. Hmm. I mean, I could go for this. It's not terrible. Yeah, he's right here. I don't know how I could spot him. That's actually kind of insane. I actually like that. Yeah, I was going to say. I don't have ultimate, but I have ignite and flash, and it's... Really not that bad of a play. Oh yeah, you can just run at him here. Would be smart for Darius is if he grabbed me. Nah, I see he could have done he could have just grabbed me and it would have been the same thing. He would not do any of that. Oh my flash. Uh, I still want to kite away. Oh, I'll be honest, I did not see that guy coming. I got that damn why would you do that you crazy I got that if I got that ignite off before it queued me I actually think I could have killed the Darius it would have been close because that hit plus the Q or plus the uh, heal cut on his Q I think would have been enough yeah I'm just blind I did not see Vygar whoops well anyways now we have enough gold to get the item we want feels good I'm gonna push get more plates don't know if people are here, but I have dash. Should be okay. Got a bunch of attack speed. Can auto W. Get that fast extra auto. Huge. Like it. Love it. 93 to 42. Looking good. Just gonna reset here. Spend all my gold. Should be a good setup. This boots. Go for the umpire. I like it. Dairy suicided? Yeah, at the end, for sure. For sure. I don't know why he was pulling me. It was kind of stupid. Not even kind of, it was just extremely stupid. Because it's not even that I could kill him, it's like Amumu is still right there and he's just going to grab you. He's, like, he's just going to press Q when you grab me, rather. Like, the grab makes you stand still and do that animation, and then there's like the pull after, and then you right click and auto. So this is like a second and a half of you standing still. Like, Amumu is not going to miss that Q. Hmm. Uh, that was a really good play by uh, Vlad. Oh. Right, trades one back. That was a really good play by Vlad right there. Great ultimate. Pulled under everything. Mm. 
not what I want to see. I'm cool with that. Popping bone plating. Uh, I don't have bone plating, so. I should get an advantage for 55 seconds. Could hide in this one, could hide in this one. I'm going to be aggressive. And I'm assuming he's not going to check. Yeah, see, smart thing to do is walk this way. But even here, like this is, like I do this thing where I'm like, oh, well, if he's there, I'll just hug this wall. And then like he just does stuff like this, he being me. If he pulls me, he does. <laughs> he's so low at that point that if he pulled me, he died. Because the AoE damage from my ultimate would just kill him. <laughs> I used uh, my R before I W'd there, instead of after. Normally you do W and then empower R, or sorry. Normally you do W and then you break out of the W, like see how I can't move out of it? The W animation, you can break out of it with your R. Well, I guess you don't break out, but your R has its own cast time. And if you use it while you're Wing, you do break out because you can E right after and it breaks you out. So W, R, your cast time for R isn't there anymore because you're doing your W animation. And then you can E immediately after you press R. And you can like, each animation cancels the other one basically. Like R cancels the wasted W, self lock. See, I can't move. R breaks you out of that. And then E breaks you out of the R cast. So you get W, R, and E all at the same time. Which is pretty damn good. All right, so we're gonna sit right here and we're gonna look to dash over the wall. Auto W, Ignite, Auto again, Auto Q, beautiful. Hee 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 hee. Mid's popping off, I'm popping off. 6-0, what do you know, it's your boy S. Auto. Careful. Pathing though, strange. Next wave came, huge. Oh, we get this. Oh, we get this for sure. Hell yeah. Damn. 14 minute tier 2 tower. You're gonna send Vlad versus me? If you want, buddy. Go lock. They might come this way. Nice. I got that off before I used. Or before I got the Fury. That way, if they do come, I have a whole bunch of Fury stacked up and I can fight them and kill them. Go here, take this. I want to be right on the edge, that way if he does come in and try to ward it, I can dash and get him maybe. I'm also going to path back top and get this wave too. Like, I know I have 3,000 gold, but... Well, not the one I wanted, but I'll take it. And then we come back up here. Gobble up all this farm. There is that topside crab though. I think it's too good just to reset here. 150 due to 60. Wave control. What do you know? Let's go. Boom. What up? Large item only. And then what do we say? Titanic. Loving it. Actually, if you undo that, sell this, get this. Huge. We like that. I'm stealing your red buff. Uh oh. This guy's strong. Split bush time. Feels so weird seeing the Tiamat like AoE, but not pressing my Tiamat button over and over again. I missed the activatable Tiamat, man. That shit was so good. Oh, I actually might get this guy. That's gonna be good. I didn't mean to do that thing. Oh my god. Alright. I mean, I got both of his summoners, so it's fine, but... I definitely wanted to step next to that minion. That way my hitbox was up against it, and then you can E and get the double dash. But yeah, that was not exactly what I wanted to do, but we'll take it. Get this. Looking really, really good. I'm gonna go kill this guy over here. Oh. If he's even still alive. I 
feel like he's gonna clear that and then path to me. If I just like hug this wall here, I can like one shot him as he comes in. Auto W probably gets it. Oh no, they spotted me off of that ward over there. Never mind. I mean, I'm still greeting, but all right, it's not gonna work. Cool. You get arrowed from the side, I think. I feel like I have to join, help. Hmm. Oh, you can go forward. You can go forward. Yeah. I don't want to go too deep. It's not worth me dying. Oh shit. Imagine if he cancel his own tower. That'd be fun. Ow. Go here, go here. Dude, they're gonna face check us, come. Bro, they're gonna face check us for sure. It's all good. They were definitely gonna face check us. I guess it is a kind of a guess though that they don't have wards there, but I feel like it's pretty safe to assume that no one's gonna ward that far back when you still have your tier one tower. Like people don't ward their jungle when they have their tier one tower up. Like they just assume that it's a safe area. So I assume that they wouldn't have a ward there and we could get them. But you never assume because it makes an ass out of you, not me. Burn, burn, burn. Love it. I keep going, by the way. Now we bail. Ooh, baby. Legendary. Crocodile time. That was mighty aggressive. Mighty aggressive. Okay. <laughs> Damn. So I have Sterics here, but I actually think instead of Sterics, I should get Black Cleaver because Black Cleaver is going to give me more damage and more health. So actually, it's 50 less, 50 less health, but way more damage and CDR. And CDR is juicy on attack damage carry. That is it, right? On an AD caster. That's the word I'm looking for. AD caster. Your abilities matter. So you need AD, you need lethality, you need ability cooldown or reduction. So ability haste. <laughs> He's just like, nope, 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 <laughs> never mind. Wrong way, wrong way. I mean, I farmed in a way that would, like, get me out. I'm too thick! Ooh, nice try with that ult. That's actually clean. A dash. Oh my god! My nice stun. I can walk this way. It zones the rest of them out. Okay, shown. Still one here. Uh, hmm. Can we Baron here? We definitely don't want to. Uh. A little sketchy. A little sketchy. Fifty-eight. That's exactly what I was looking for. Because the whole thing is, uh, it scales off of bonus health now. And like Renekton gets a shitload of bonus health with his ultimate. I actually think I can get it higher, but we'll see. I think we should have been over here this whole time, but the movie's well outside, so it is hard to do. But yeah, you have all this health that you get for free. Ooh, stun here. Stun, stun, stun! What? I think we would have got him. Can't reset here. Oh, oh, nice! You got him. Oh, this guy is chasing that. Hmm. I, I agree with that one. 
Interesting. But yeah, this scales off of uh, HP now, bonus HP. Because I guess uh, a lot of the squishy champions started taking the Sunfire as a DPS option. And Riot didn't like that, so they wanted it to really be used for like tanky stuff. It's just the stat allocation on Sunfire is really solid. It just kind of gives you everything you want. Armor, magic, resistibility, haste, you know, health, damage. Sweet, I'll take it. It's, a, it's like a really good baseline item. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna yoink this. I could just sit in bot lane and look to split. You can make it. I'm pretty sure I just angled them. Bot slash dragon. So I want to go down here. Get this wave shoved out. You gotta be a little careful. You don't want to fight just yet. Okay. Want to let's push these waves out and get control over the area. Plus, you need Dragon to almost be up. So now they have to back up and defend the waves. Give us more control of the space and more control of where they're actually going to be forced to be. Like this. I think I still got him though. See? And then I get a flank. We ignore that guy, we go for these. Yep. Controlling. Got him with stun though. Uh we should go for this too. It does take a little while to actually finish that. Probably should have went over there myself to be honest. The FF Respectable. Too big for that E, exactly. Too large. Yeah, I think Renekton with the Sunfire build is actually legit. Like, first off, Bork is already god tier on Renekton because of how his W works. W counts as auto attacks, right? So three empowered auto attacks from empowered W. Pretty insane. Get you three procs of the Bork. That means you apply the act or well the passive steal plus damage, and you get a triple on hit from it. So twelve percent, twelve percent, twelve percent. A lot of damage. And then the Sunfire, super good. Titanic, super good. Steric, super good. But Black Cleaver is also an option. I would go Steric if like I needed to be tankier. Like I was much closer game. I would need to be tankier maybe. And I would want Sterics for the shield. And the shield also has HP ratios. And again, all the HP is funneling into Titanic, giving you more attack damage. And funneling into Sunfire, giving you more burn damage. And with the buff to your R, you actually get to like 170, 180 burn damage in the mid game, which is kind of ridiculous. But And actually, you can go over 200 once you get level 16. But yeah. Anyways, GG well played. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching on live stream, follow live stream. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace.